everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new makeup products. I have pretty much everything. The only things that I probably didn't get is of course brow products because I don't use that. And mascara and setting powder, so I don't have anything new from there. So I'll just be using some products that I already have. For primer, I ended up getting two different ones. I have the Kaja, is that how you say it? Kaja? I honestly don't know. The Kaja Blur Drop Weightless Water Primer. I've been wanting to try this for months now. I also got the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. And I didn't get an actual foundation, but when I ordered the Ciate Primer, I was able to get some free samples. So I ended up choosing the Jouer Foundation Samples. Comes with a total of three, six, six little packages in here so I might have to mix them up if there's one in here that's not close to my shade. I have the Pacifica liquid cover full coverage last full coverage lasting concealer and then I also got the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer in the shade C10. And then for blush I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's from Sugar. That's it sugar sorry if my hair looks like a mess I just took a shower so I don't know it's like it's not very pinky it's more like on the peachy side and for bronzer I'm going to be using the Too Faced chocolate soleil in medium deep I tried this out before once a long time ago probably about three years ago and I know I liked it, but I mean, it's just been a while, so excited to see if I end up still liking this. And then for highlighter, I have the Hyper Real Glow palette from MAC. And this is how it looks on the inside right here. And then for body highlight, well, it's technically a highlight, I guess. It's this Pacifica Crystal Bronze Shimmering Body Oil. So I've seen a couple of products like this. There's the Patrick Ta, there's the Sugar Rush brand from Tarte that has an oil like this. There's the Anastasia Shimmer Oil. And I know there's some other brands too that have that as well. But yeah, I ended up getting this one from Pacifica. It wasn't that expensive, it was like 15 bucks. So I ended up getting this. So hopefully this works out. And then for eyeshadow, I ended up getting this Ultra Ego Goddess Eyeshadow Palette, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona, I believe the gold palette. I'll insert a picture right here somewhere on the screen. But yeah, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona gold palette. And then for lips, I got the same brand as the primer that I mentioned earlier, the Kaja, what is it, Two's Company? Nude lipstick plus liner. So there, it's double ended. It has a lipstick and a liner on both sides. And this one's in this shade Sahara number two. And then I got this little mini lipstick from Ipsy, from the brand Realer, Real Her, Real Her. I don't know. And it's in the shade Rose Pink. So we'll swatch those before applying later. And yeah, that's all the products, so let's just get right on to applying them. So these are what the two primers look like. I'm going to be doing the Ciate on this side and the Kaja on this side. And I ended up getting this one on sale on Sephora's website. It was actually on sale for 15 bucks. It was originally, I believe, 27, 28 bucks or 22 bucks. No, like 22 bucks. So I'm wondering why it was on sale since maybe because they brought out a new primer, it's like a mousse one, which I want to try out as well someday. So maybe that's why it was on sale, so they could just have that other primer. I don't know. Hopefully it's not for a bad reason. So far it feels really nice. I'm surprised it doesn't feel as watery as I thought it would though. I mean it says that on the packaging, doesn't it? Let me double check. Yeah, weightless water primer, but it doesn't really feel like a watery consistency. It feels more like a, it kind of feels greasy, 
but not in a bad way, in a good way. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but it's not a bad feeling though. It feels lightweight, thin. I mean, my skin looks nice. It kind of fills in the pores a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit. And to the other side of my face, I'm going to be doing the Ciate primer. This one's a more watery consistency for sure. Just gonna apply a little bit more just so I can get that onto the forehead. And on the Ciate side, it does look dewier than the other side. So there's already that difference. And this primer actually claims to, what does it say? It claims to, yeah, hydrating and pore refining primer. Okay, that's enough of that. Where is the lid? The lid. 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 A little bit just a very little bit tackier than this side all right let's see so I got sent the three lighter shades I got were alabaster porcelain and fawn alabaster is a fair shade porcelain is a light shade and fawn is a medium shade so should I do porcelain or fawn or should I just mix the two? I mean, this is full coverage. It claims to be full coverage. The foundation says high coverage cream foundation. So, and this is a matte foundation as well. Hmm. You know what? Let's just do fawn, medium. Maybe I will have to mix the colors actually because I feel like there's barely anything in here. That's a lot more watery than I thought it would be. And this is medium? That looks really light. Okay. Ooh, I don't want to drop it. I have to hold it like this. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that looks a little too yellow, actually. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to mix in the fair shade alabaster with the shade Fawn, since this one is actually too dark at first, I thought it was going to be too light. Let me roll up my sleeves because I already got some foundation on my shirt and that was not good. Okay. Oh wow, this dries real quick. The consistency got really thick and sticky all of a sudden. And yeah, it barely comes with anything inside of here when <laughs> there's literally one little drop. Wow, that's still really yellow. Ooh, but I'm loving how it looks though. It looks really nice. Oh my gosh, my skin looks so pretty though. This is an expensive foundation too. Well, for some people it might not be, but for me it is. I believe it's $42. Ooh, it dries super quick so you gotta work really quick with this foundation to blend it out okay I don't know if it's just all in my head or something because I know it's an expensive foundation but this looks amazing in person the finish is just so flawless smooth it doesn't look cakey I mean it looks so blurred out. It's just, it's so nice. So I can see why the price is up there. But so far, this looks really good. Like, really good. All right, now to concealer. I am so excited to try out this Jeffree Star concealer. I'm really hoping that this is full coverage. I trust Jeffrey, so this has to be full coverage. It says full coverage, long wearing, anti-aging properties, natural matte finish, and then 
the Pacifica Full Coverage Lasting Concealer. This just says full coverage. <laughs> so I will be doing the Pacifica on this side and then the Jeffrey Star on this side. I'm going to start off with the Jeffrey Concealer. This looks so pretty. I love the little star on top and the little crystal. It's so cute. And I've heard of things about the star breaking off, but I don't know. Hopefully mine doesn't break off. So this is the applicator right here. What is that on my hand? I don't even know. That is the applicator and it just packs on some product inside of there. So excited. Okay. All right, let's see. And I'm just gonna start off with a little bit. And then if I need more, I'll just add on some more. Okay. I'm sorry, I got excited right now. Oh my gosh. Just from blending it out from that two seconds, just from that two seconds of blending it out, I think I love it already. I mean, <laughs> it covers so good. And the finish looks so flawless. Yeah, so far I'm really loving this. So far, I'm really loving all of the products I've used like, so far, so. Just gonna put the Pacifica concealer on. I scraped off too much product. Hold on, let me see. I'll just start off with that. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't have as much coverage as the Jeffrey concealer. So I am gonna have to go back in for sure with the second layer. Okay, now I'm just gonna bronze the face a little bit. I actually still like this. I'm just gonna be using my same Luxie brush and go into this blush. It looks very natural, so it gives a really nice finish. Now for highlight, I'm going to be going into the shades Flash Awe and Rosy Glow. So these two first highlights right here. I don't know. Ooh, that's pretty. That's blinding. Okay, I feel like I put more than enough. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Goddess Alter Ego Palette. And this is, as I mentioned earlier, a dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. The Natasha Denona is over, I believe it's like $130. So that's a lot. <laughs> and this one was only, I believe it was 16 but with shipping, it ended up being like 20 bucks. I'm not sure what look I want to go for. I'll go into the shade Juno right here. I'll just apply that into the crease. I'm just gonna pat that on real quick and then I'll blend afterwards. And I just want to bring that in a bit into here. Now going in with that same brush on the opposite side, I'm just going to go into the shade Avalon, which is a deeper brown, and just pack that on, focusing it on the outer crease. Now going into the shade Iris, just going to grab a little bit of that. And just blend that out some more. I'm 
not sure what shade I want to put onto the lid. There's the shade Valkyrie right here. There's Cassandra right here. Venus. Pandora. Let me swatch these real quick. Ooh, which one was that one? Oh yeah, right here, Pandora. That one's a little chunky. Like it's very powdery. I don't know if you can see that. It's like really powdery. <sighs> which is that bottom one I swatched right there. It crumbles a lot. So that's not good. <laughs> There's the shades right there. I think I'm gonna go with Valkyrie. It's like a green reflect. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that one. So I'm just gonna go into this one right here in the middle. Just apply some of that onto the lid. My hair is a mess. But yeah, that's how it's looking, that color. I feel like this is the most flawless look I've ever done. Like, no joke. Okay. That's it for the eyeshadow. Now, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, I also have an eyeliner to try out. I forgot to mention that. It's from... Jante Blue, Jante Blue, Ultra Lasting Formula, Professional Art Makeup Liquid Eyeliner, 24 Hour Wear. So, ooh, that's really black. So, and it's a felt tip. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna do a wing because I'm just planning on putting false lashes anyways. So I'm just gonna put a small line so I can cover up the lash band. So the liner is actually really good. It's really easy to work with. It's really pigmented. All right, I'm just gonna apply some mascara and lashes and then it will just be lips and my body highlight and setting spray and that's it so let me just put on those lashes real quick all right i put my lashes on now i'm just gonna add on freya in the inner corners let me just swatch these real quick oh yeah this is sorry not sorry it's it's kind of cute it reminds me of the demi lovato song yeah i'll do a jeffree star swatch on the palm there's that one Ooh, it feels really creamy and moisturizing. Ooh, I like how that feels. Alright, so there's that one. I feel like that's a little too pinky though for this look. This is the lip color. Ooh, that's like a very pretty pinky purple mauve tone, which doesn't go with this look either, but... I'll probably just apply it anyways, just for now. Ooh, and the lip liner is really purple. Yeah, it's just the same shade as that lip color. I'll apply both of them and see how they look. It doesn't look that purple on camera. It feels really nice though. Yeah, in person you can tell it's purple. On the camera, it doesn't look that purple. Let's try this one. This is not that pink. Okay, so I'm going to be going into my Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade what shade is it psychic medium it's gonna add on a little bit of this okay there's that but this one is a little too dark well for my liking I'm just gonna put on this list chocolate infallible pro matte liquid lipstick from l'oreal i love the smell of this stuff this smells so good i'm just gonna put this on top of here Okay, and that's with 
those two lipsticks layered on top of each other. It's more like a off gray, like a grayish brown. So, I don't know, I feel like it fits the look a little bit better. I'll just leave this one on, I'm not sure. I'm just being picky with my lip color. Last thing is the Shimmer Body Oil. Just gonna add on some onto the neck and the chest. Let's see. Just gonna apply some of that. Ooh, it smells very sweet. It smells like vanilla. Does it have vanilla in it? Yeah, vanilla two tuberose, coconut, and quartz. Um, it feels a little greasy, but not too bad. Oh, I'm a little skeptical about this. I just hope it doesn't stay feeling this sticky and greasy. Um, I don't know if you can tell like the shimmer. It's not really showing up at all. So, let me swatch some on my arm real quick actually, let me see, this is on the arm there, it's gonna blend that out, and you can kind of see it right there, oh yeah you can see right there, but it's not as shimmery and noticeable as I would like, so I would skip out on this. I'll still use it though. I mean, <laughs> I'm not about to just have $15 sit in my drawer. So out of all of the products, I actually really liked all of them, but except for this one, the body oil. This didn't work out for me, but everything else I did really like. Yeah, so out of all of them, this was my least favorite and my... I have to say two favorites. My two favorites were the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer and the Jouer Foundation Sample that I had. Alright, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. And let me know what else you would like to see for my next video. Let me know what was your least favorite and what was your favorite product that I tried out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.